Hello there. Dawn is coming up once again over the jungle north of my home, and I'm still here, in this rather fine wizard tower that I found at the end of the last uh, episode. Now, my plan is to steal it, and I'm going to do that with the travelling house mod. I need to make a couple of, uh, couple of devices for this. First of all, it's uh, four iron ingots. We're making a house packer. Uh, a gold ingot in the middle, and four lapis lazuli. This is why I was so excited to find that lapis lazuli down on down in the diamond hunting episode. So there's the house packer. Uh, that's reusable, so I don't I won't uh, ever need to make another one of those. The corner marker, uh, I'm going to make the uh, expendable version that uh, you just get one use out of. There is an advanced version uh, that involves four diamonds. I don't have that many diamonds. I did bring some diamonds with me, thinking about thinking I might make it, but I, in the end I've decided against it. Uh, because I say I don't, I don't cheat in this Let's Play. How, however many diamonds I find is how many I get. I don't, I don't use the creative mode. So what I need to do is mark out a box shape, and I've uh, already picked my spots. So I'm going to put the house packer there, and then I need to uh, nip around the side here to the other corner, and just get to the top of this gravel tower that I've placed, which is where I want to put the uh, the corner marker. It's a bit of a height, but the last thing I want to do is accidentally clip the top off the uh, off the house. That would <laughs> that would that would be a little counterproductive and messy, and cold and, and wet, and generally generally not not what you want. So uh, there we go. I'll just need to get back down to the bottom again. The uh, old-fashioned way. I know I could be a little bit more high-tech than uh, gravel towers, but they, they are just very functional. So, it should scoop up everything within within uh, within the, this box, including any entities. Uh, if the luggage is unfortunate... Let's actually get the luggage to stand in there, because I want to test this. Luggage, over here. Oh, I need to make a blue. Um, I need to make a blueprint as well. That's a lapis lazuli and a piece of paper. So there we go. Right, can I get the luggage to stand over here? It's possible. I probably don't want to be standing in there though, just just in case. I think being being wrapped up in my own blueprint could be unhealthy. So if I use the blueprint on this box, bang! Oh wow! Okay. Uh, apparently, oh, and I, I just dropped the blueprint on the floor. That's a bit dangerous. Uh, and I'll just grab my box. Uh, oh, there's um, some underworld, under un, uh, some caverns that were underneath the house. I hadn't known about those. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't seem to pick up torches. Oh, uh, well, let's not care too much about those. So, what I need to do now is head home and unpack it. Now, jungles are probably the most boring biome. It's, it's, you, you, you'd think jungles would be super interesting and dangerous, but very little actually spawns in them. Uh, either in vanilla, I mean, anything, during the day, at night, it, at night obviously there'd be monsters. But uh, during the day, there's really not too much to be afraid of here. Even with Grimoire of Gaia. Although, um, what's that sound? Um, um, there's a fancy beehive. I'm just going to grab that while I panic about what on earth is making that noise. It sounds a little like Godzilla. Uh, oh, it's an ogre. Right, okay. Um, oh, I'm stuck. I am stuck on something. Oh, uh, there we are. And he's dropped some obsidian for me. Oh, this is a nice cave. Uh, there's some glow mushrooms there. And, um... I should probably come back and explore this at a later date. Because there appear to be some special things going on. Uh, can I remember where I am? Stalactites. They're quite pointy. Yes, I can. This is easy enough to find. Okay. What are these? I'm finding all sorts of amazing things. Um... Pumpkins and melons. 
in the ocean. That's strange. But I'm going to scoop up these melons because I've not found any before. But I don't know why they're here. I've got a theory. It could be the work of the gods. Um, which might, be, might seem an odd thing to say. But something is going on. And the, they seem to be instantly rotting. Uh, are any more being... Yes! Did you see that? That pumpkin just appeared from nowhere. I, I am going to make... Oh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a gravel tower right here. For This is the work of Holy Demeter. I feel her presence and her melons. Goddess of the harvest. It is a sign. As I always say, when life gives you melons, it's time to start a melon farm. Ah, uh, she's given me melons, which is <laughs> thanks, Demeter. Um, because I can't see her, but she's probably buried. Oh wow! Okay, I'm quite excited because I've known of, I've known there's probably a Jupiter. I, I've known there's probably the presence of Jupiter in the forest north of my home. But uh, yes, under uh, uh, digging digging a, a tunnel under in, into the water, and it, she could have, she could be any depth. That's probably not going to uh, be something I can do quickly because I want to unpack this house this episode. And uh, I don't think I'd live terribly far away around here. This is the extreme hills biome that I live in. Though it is, this biome is massive. It, go, it goes all the way around a whole load of other biomes. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, meet you back at my base and I'll try and figure out somewhere uh, sensible to put this. Okay, I've made it home and I, I think I'm going to try and put it over here. Uh, in as probably going to make a bit of a mess doing this because I'm it will remove anything that's previously there so let's see this is the northeast corner uh, let's see what happens boom oh okay well that worked quite well I said I know it's I knew it was going to look a bit bad at the back uh, but I can fix that but how does it look at the front I mean, a little bit of a little bit of fixing fixing up is going to be required, but uh, and I'll get a, get rid of that tree for a nice view. But that's worked out quite nicely, and the the luggage popped out okay. Um, yes, I'm quite pleased with that. Of course, now I've got a building, another building. I need to get rid of that gravel tower as well. I'm. I'm going. I need. Well, my next task is to find some villagers to to uh, join my join my my uh, stronghold. I think. I think that's just about all I've got time for today. Uh, a bit pressed for time, but we found we found another another suspect ghost. Uh, a, another suspect household god. So uh, that that makes two. I need to start digging those up. I say that's really, really looking very nice. I'm going to put doors on there and uh, make it make it a bit safer. But I, yes, I should probably use that for something. My uh, arcane creepers run. The traveling house mod has a million uses, and it might be said that it's a bit cheap, uh, really. But um, I'm it's fun. It's fun to be able to move things around, and uh, fun is fun is the most important thing in my in my book. So and and uh, I can I can think of so many uses for it. It's it's crazy. I don't want to overuse it, but uh, perhaps you can think of some uh, ways to uh, use the ha use the traveling house mod that I haven't mentioned yet. Uh, so let me let me uh, know your ideas in the comments. At any rate, I hope that was useful, and uh, I'll see you next time. Take care.